Welcome back to Mid-American Conference Football Media Day at Ford Field. We turn our attention to the Northern Illinois Huskies and we're pleased to be joined by Thomas Hammock, the head coach of the Huskies. Uh, Thomas, let's talk a little bit about what you guys have coming back. Yeah, you know, I think uh, last year we was obviously a young team. Uh, really liked the way our, our team has matured, uh, has gotten stronger, has gotten bigger. And, uh, you know, we were really having a good offseason and, and we needed it. Uh, you know, last year we played 10, 11 guys that came straight from high school. And uh, now they understand the investment, they understand the commitment that it takes uh, to play at a high level. And uh, we certainly excited to get ready for training camp. So, Coach, third year at Northern Illinois, it seems like uh, we were talking before the start, it seems like you just started. Have you been able to get the building blocks that you would like, given last year was kind of a crazy year? Yeah, you know, I think uh, the thing that's important uh, for our program is, you know, when I, my first year on the job, we made a decision to really uh, commit to, you know, recruiting high school student athletes. And I think that's really paid dividends for us building the program, uh, making sure the foundation is strong. Uh, which it is, and, and we got some very, uh, you know, good, you know, upperclassmen that's some leaders uh, that's teaching the younger guys, and uh, the foundation is, is extremely strong. Tell us about the mindset. I know there's a, there's a mindset that, that you wanted to instill when you got back yeah. to, to Northern Illinois. You know, I think uh, for us, the mindset was uh, and is, you know, we want to be tough. We want to be physical. Uh, we want to be uh, extremely strong uh, up, up front and down the middle. And so our emphasis has been on the offensive and defensive lines. Uh, we've added some quality skill players. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what we feel like we're going to make the biggest jump, um, you know, from year one, from the second year to the third year. Now, when, when the teams play a, a Thomas Hammond team, what do you want them to get off the field saying? You know, that's a physical outfit. Um, you know, we want to run the football. Um, everything that we do is, is, is being built around that. Uh, we signed some extra backs this year. Um, because we want to be physical during training camp. I mean, we don't want to, you know, only have two or three guys and then you got to take care of them during camp. We want to get after it. And uh, that's a mindset. That's a mentality. Uh, I think our offensive linemen feel that. Uh, the backs are going to understand that. And, uh, you know, we feel like, you know, av when, you, when you go back and watch the film on Sunday, uh, we want you to feel it uh, after the game. Now, you were running back coach in the NFL for, for a long time. Um, what do you tell your linemen? Well, I think, you know, number one, uh, it, it starts with maturity. I think last year our average lineman, uh, they, they average age was, was 19 years old. Well, you know, in, in college football, you want to be, you know, older and more mature up front. Um, but we got an excellent group. Uh, you know, we got 19 offensive linemen. Uh, we got, you know, five guys that started every game last season. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about their growth and, and, and development. And I think uh, they bonded. They have an understanding. Uh, Braden Patton is an excellent leader. Uh, and those young guys are following them. If I was going to tell you if, if this goes well for the Huskies this year, we're going we're gonna to have a pretty good year, what, what would you say it would be? As far as like uh, group, Yeah, gr just a, a group. If, if, if this group kind of comes together and, and gets it done. Yeah, um, I think, you know, for us, as, as I look at our football team, uh, it's going to start on offense. Uh, number one, we have to protect the ball. Uh, we have to run the ball, and we have to be a physical uh, unit uh, and, and not put our defense in bad spots. Uh, I feel like our defense is going to uh, make, make contributions. Uh, we're good on special teams, uh, but it's going, for us, it's going to be offensively, and it starts at the quarterback position. Uh, we got some quarterbacks that we feel really good about, uh, Rocky Lombardi being one of them, uh, Ethan Hampton being an another guy that came early. Uh, we, we have an excellent backfield. Our line is intact. Uh, you know, we have a tight end that we feel like can be, a, you know, an exceptional player. And, uh, but for us, it, it's, it's going to start with our offensive production. Now, non-conference, um, I, I was looking at this, Georgia Tech, Wyoming, Michigan. You got three pretty good programs that have three very different styles. Is that by design? It's gonna, you're going to figure out a lot before you get into Mid-American yeah. Conference play. You know, what, what a great opportunity for our team. Um, you know, Georgia Tech is is a very, uh, you know, story program. Obviously, they're they, they building their program back up and they're doing a nice job down there. And Wyoming is a tough, a tough football team and then Michigan. Um, but for us, uh, with our team, it's a, it's a good litmus test for us. Uh, you know, we get a chance to go down to Atlanta uh, September 4th and, and play at night. I think our kids will be excited. You know, they missed that opportunity last year. No non-conference. And I think that gives you a gauge. So when you get into the conference schedule, uh, depending on how you played against some of those teams, uh, you figure, um, you know, you should have a pretty good barometer of where you are as a football team. 
Thomas Hammond, head coach of the Northern Illinois Huskies. Appreciate the time. Best of luck in 2021. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to take a, a quick time out on the other side of the break. We'll hear from a couple of Husky players. It's the Mid-American Conference Football Media Days from Ford Field on Cleveland.com and MLive. Stay with us. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line. A long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just a mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Welcome back to Mac Media Day from Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, we talked about the running game for the Northern Illinois Huskies and how important that was going to be. A couple of guys that are going to be important to that is uh, Clint Radovic and uh, also offensive lineman Braden Patton. Braden, let me start with you. You guys are both um, seniors that came back for an additional year. Why'd you come back? What, what, uh, what made you want to come back and play some more college football? Yeah, so um, the reason I came back is because I, I love the program. I love NIU. Um, you know, the way last season ended, uh, it's not how we roll around at NIU. Um, we know we have more work to do. Um, also, trying to make it to the next level, um, that is a big goal of mine. And uh, I wanted to come back, try to help myself with that, and help the team win more games and win a MAC championship. So, Clint Ratkovich, you um, sat out a year. Correct. What made you want to play another year of college football? I just love it. You know, I couldn't get enough of it. And uh, like I said, 2019 was uh, my last season. And just sitting out that year due to COVID, I just had to come back for another year. And like Braden said, have aspirations of playing at the next level. So uh, let me ask you this, and, and we'll start with you, Clint. Um, you want to run the football. Coach has made that clear. You want to be a tough, physical, aggressive team. What's that do for you as, a, as an H-back and a fullback and a guy that, uh, that's going to get the ball and, and uh, be involved in, in some physical play at the line of scrimmage? <laughs> uh, my, my eyes open up pretty big, that's for sure. Uh, I mean, I love physical downhill football, you know. That's, that's part of the game. It's what Coach Hammock wants to do. And for a guy like me who, you know, has to be physical in between the, the tackle box, you know, it opens my eyes and I'm very excited. So, Braden, offensive lineman, you've seen a lot um, in, in multiple years uh, playing uh, on the O-line. As uh, w when your coach says, we want to run the football, what does that do for the five guys that are that are banging people up front every play? Oh, yeah. It excites you. It excites you a lot. Um, that's what we want to do. You know, as a lineman, pass blocking is fun sometimes, but you want to run the ball. Um, and that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to pound. You know, we get after people every play. We're hitting someone every single play. Um, so when the coach tells you we want to run the ball, it puts all the weight on your shoulders, and I, I love it. So. I'll ask both of you this. Coach Hammond was an a NFL running back coach. As a guy that wants to play NFL next on the offensive line, how big of an advantage is it that, I mean, coach knows what it takes to, to be at that level, and, and how much do you try to pick his brain about that? Yeah, it's huge. Um, coach Hammond, I love Coach Hammond. Uh, he's a personal guy. You can talk to him about anything. His door is always open. Um, so having his knowledge and being able to talk to him about certain things, what NFL teams are looking for, and just different things, what I'm maybe doing wrong here or there, or try to coach me up on different things that he sees, um, it's, it's huge. So. Clint, same yeah. question. You, you obviously play a, a position group that he's coached some too. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, just you know, picking his brain a little bit. He definitely knows a lot being through the NFL and a bunch of teams before. Uh, just trying to, you know, get his knowledge and uh, he holds you to that high standard, you know. He holds everyone to the highest standard and kind of knows what it takes to get to that level and you just got to know what it takes. Yeah. So, guys, how excited are you to play in front of fans, cheerleaders, band? I mean, that was yeah. something that was missing last year. Yeah, the fans and the crowd, um, it, it brings excitement to the games. Uh, without the fans, without the band, without all, all the crowd noise, it's, it was different. And uh, it, it's, there's nothing like a college football atmosphere. Um, so we're, we're really excited for fans to be back. Yep. Let me ask you this, um, Notre Dame, Wyoming, Georgia Tech, how excited are you guys uh, about that non-conference and, and how do you view it? Uh, we'll Michigan, start, not Notre Dame. Michigan, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a great challenge. You know, it's going to 
It's going to challenge us early on, see what we're made of, you know, see where we have to improve, see where we get better. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome that it's our first three games to kind of open up the season and see where we're at. Are you excited about uh, the opportunity of, of going there oh, and yeah. playing in those? The opportunity of playing in those big games, um, that's something we take seriously. We call them boneyard victories uh, when we win. So the, the opportunity to play in those games, get the exposure, um, play against those teams, um, it's exciting. Braden Patton and uh, Clint Ratkovich, yep. appreciate the time. Uh, thanks very much. Best of luck in 2021 to the Northern Illinois Huskies. Thank you. Thank you.